released a statement. Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say, not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet, discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Has it really come to this, Night City? Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack in City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. At least you think the cops got it wrong. Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. What do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. CPD. Police. Let him, in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference.
Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Left literally seconds before the attack. That looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prime, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming at your ass. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? No, nah, but it could have. Well, well, well. Pretty. Prime, do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? The whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Any questions at this point?
Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not going to pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in it's a good thing you answered. Eat. I could probably Fine, use your help. Do whatever the fuck you want. Probably. Not like you listen, any. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But... Yeah, I got some idea. It was an accident. Embarrassing one. Ryan died at his sex club. It's probably too much for him. Nobody there helping him? To leave this world? Vacate his seat? You ask me, no. What a relief. Well, that's good to know. So why'd they lie? Ah, never mind. Don't answer. I know why. Dull death, dull case. But my wife's right. We will sleep better. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Glad I could help. Where did we leave off? Hello, V. Uh, 
Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking um, about the cornerstone of my platform. Exactly. I'm not doing a you U-turn just because Night Corp. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me, a noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Security look into this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. This gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. This, um, security outfit. SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, 
Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. The parade I will know, soon start. The ocean away. I will wait where With we Jeff met before. For mayor, By the stalls. It's just safer this way. Just stay out of trouble, okay? This is where we sleep. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary, the bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Oh, 
iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Discharged booster. Someone's been pulling all-nighters. Either of you use energy boosters. I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. This was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't...
Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. screen a lot or to any of the others I don't understand what just happened a second ago you didn't see it no what okay never mind We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! The sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do.
Odd. Text practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V. Do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... Uh, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Will you sit? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. 
where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they are changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. It's us, After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, the next stop... Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Yo, 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 my tuber shrewders and viewers, Mr. White here. Drop that little touch of Timberland right to the nearest store. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. 
Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? Remember to take Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. 
Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life. Your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. no she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And the same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. <laughs> 